In a world that's in a constant state of change, you can never stop learning. That's why many of us are always hungry for tasty knowledge bites and nibbles of information to help us better navigate our surroundings. However, as much as it is easy to be amazed by what humanity and nature are capable of, there's also a darker side we often overlook. Hi guys and welcome back to iClone 3D. I know it's been a minute since my upload, but I am going to be more consistent. I've just been a little tied up recently, but I'm really hoping you guys are doing some amazing work with iClone and, you know, keep me in the loop. I want to see all of your incredible work. And today I've got a really quick tutorial about how to use Acculips and get some incredible results as you've just seen. And, um, you know, it's really simple, really easy, and it's, you know, a game-changing tool to give you amazing kind of uh, mouth movement and accurate kind of lip movement. So click on your character, and uh, we're just going to go into our Modify tab. And uh, in this section here, we can come down to Facial, and we've got this little option to create a script. So if we just click on that, we've got a few options here. So we can record a voice. Um, we can do text to script, so whatever you write, the character will say. You can add an audio file and then you can do Acculips. So we're going to focus on Acculips today. These other three, they will give you some results with the lip moving and talking, but it won't be as accurate as Acculips. So just click on your Acculips and you can see it will bring up this little box here. And again, you've got the option to record, you've got the option to do text to speech, and you can also load an audio file. So today I'm going to load a file into that and we're just going to go into my folders here. And we're just going to load that file in. And once that's done, you can just hit generate text and that will start to generate the text for you. Okay. And once that's done, this will pop up here in your little box here, the text of what's being said in the audio file that you uploaded. And then what you want to do is because I've just shaved off some of the text, we can just click at the top here and we can just realign all of that. So I'll just hit align. And it says there's some unknown words colored in red. You can change that if you wish. I'll just leave it as it is for now. And we will hit yes. Now what this is going to do is this is going to align the Vazims to this section. So it just basically means exactly where the audio is speaking. It's going to be accurate in terms of when your character's lips move. So if I hit play, you'll see. In a world that's in a constant state of change, you can never stop learning. That plays perfectly. So we're just going to go back to the beginning and we're going to hit apply. Once you hit apply, that will then apply that to your character. And to see that's been applied, you can just go down here to your Vazim section. If that's not turned on, you just want to go up to your character base, hit this little arrow and you can turn on your Vazim here. And once you go down to that, you'll see that's put all of your speech in place. Now, if I go to the beginning and I hit play, in a world that's in a constant state of change, you can never stop learning. You can see that plays back perfectly. Now, a couple of things that you can do here, you can actually right click on the Vazim down here and you've got a couple of options here. You've got your lip options. So if we just go into that, what you can actually do is you can smoothen out the mouth. So if I just play this back. In a world that's in a constant state of change, you can never stop learning. And what I'm going to do I'm just going to add some smoothness to that. I can maybe go to five and we'll hit apply and we'll hit OK and we'll play that back. In a world that's in a constant state of change, you can never stop learning. And you can see that really just smoothens out the lips a lot more. Now we can also go right click uh, down to our Vazim here and you can see it does also add, it does add a section here onto your lip option. Um, that kind of this will be your smoothness here. So you can delete that and start again if you wish. But if we just right click on the Vazim and we go again into our lip options, we've also got the clip strength that we can then start to play with. So if I put that up a little bit and I hit apply, we'll just see the difference that makes. In a world that's in a constant state of change, you can never stop learning. Okay, so we can see, um, you know, it makes the mouth a lot more pronunciated, etc. So I'm just going to go back to uh, the original values and um, we're just going to hit apply and we're going to hit OK. And one other thing we can do down here is if we right click, 
we can go into talking style editor. So this will actually edit the uh, different vowels and you know, the way the lips will actually kind of curve when it's saying certain words. And you know, up here we've got presets, we can just open that. And you can see there's a lot of different presets. So we've got impatient, mumbling, singing, smooth, whispering, etc. So if we try, say for example, bellowing, and um, you can see the values here start to change from the original values. And if we hit play, you'll just see the In difference. a constant state of change, you can never stop learning. That's why many of us are always hungry for tasty knowledge bites and nibbles of information. To so you can see what that does is it makes the lips move in more of a way as if he was shouting the words, you know, bellowing out the words. And, you know, there's multiple different styles here. We can try whispering again and just see the different effects that does. In a world that's in a constant state of change, you can never stop learning. So you can see the lips are a lot more tighter and you know, they open a lot less. And again, you know, there's a lot of different ones here that you can try out. I'm gonna go back to our original speed normal and we'll just leave it at that for now. But that really is kind of concluding the tutorial. And that is the way you can use Aculips to get really, really accurate lip movement, you know, in you know a few minutes and it doesn't take long at all. So really hope that helps and really hope to see you guys again soon for another tutorial.